are celebrating their holidays, right? This is loving the world, man, by loving their, their traditions and loving all these electronics and using them for sin instead of using them for good. A lot of our people use YouTube for bad, man. It's all type of negative. It's more negative on YouTube than good. It's only one good on YouTube, and that's the prophets that's like us that's out here on the highways and byways teaching our people their true heritage and their true biblical nationality. That's right. That's it. That's the only thing that's good on that thing, man. That's it. Go ahead and read, huh? For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh. The lust of the what? The, the lust, lust of, of the, the flesh. flesh. That's all on your electronics. Go ahead, huh? And the lust of the eyes. The lust of the eyes. That's why you got all these females walking around in the shortest thing. Our females can't wait till summer get here so they can wear the tightest things so they can get all people to sin. Uh -huh. They wear our panties and a bra and call it Paginis, right? Uh -huh. And they're comfortable with letting every man see their body. A bikini is panties and a bra. You got to cover up. How can your woman feel comfortable walking around in panties and in a bra in the midst of all the people. Right. There's something wrong with that, Israel. That's right. right to the point where this world made it normal so everybody looks at it like it's normal. But it's evil in God's right. eyes, man. Right. It's gonna get destroyed. Right. And all kings is falling after that, ne that nonsense, man. Because now it's keeping us from being married. Because we keep seeing all these whoremongers out here, man. And these sisters are so easy to pop today. It's keeping us in sin. And it's going to get us destroyed and see what that lake of fire is like. We out here to warn our people so our people will not get the lake of fire, man. Because our people truly don't know the Lord, man. Now to read up. And the pride of life. And the what? And, and the, the pride, pride of, of life. life. The pride of life is not thinking that America is going to get destroyed. God said he's going to destroy it, so it's going to be destroyed. He said Nineveh was going to be destroyed. It was destroyed. Solomon Gomorrah, he said, was going to be destroyed, and it got destroyed. What makes you think America's not going to get destroyed when God said it's ordained to be destroyed, man? We got to believe on God rather than man, Israel. That's Go ahead right. and read. It's not of the Father, but is of the world. It's not of the Father. Every wickedness thing down here is not of the Father, but it's of the world. Like, look at this madness, man. Look at this trifling madness that these people that came up with, Tell man. It. Are y'all devil worshippers? Are y'all devil worshippers? Look at this. Solomon Gomorrah. That's why y'all all gonna get destroyed. Y'all right. all gonna go into the lake of fire. Understand right. that thing. Go ahead and read up. This the book of Jeremiah, chapter 10, verse 2. Y'all disgusting. Y'all think y'all doing something, but y'all disgusting, man. The scum of the earth, man. The scum of the earth. Look at what we got ruling over us. We're God's chosen people, but we got these nasty people ruling over us, man. And then we following after their sins, man. They came up with this Solomon Gomorrah, man. They came up with this trifling, nasty stuff, man. They came up with that, but you blacks and Spanish and Native Americans, you guys chose the people, but you follow right alongside of it, man. A whore is a whore. A whore is going to be a whore. We got to have pride and come back to our royal state. Wait a minute, what you holding? Go ahead and read up. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 10, verse... Marcus, Marcus, go ahead. Uh, the book of Isaiah, chapter 3, and verse 9. Bring they show up. their countenance, doth witness against them. They do what? They show up their countenance, doth witness, witness against them. They showing their countenance off. When you twerk, you showing your nasty, trifling body, man. They don't nobody want that. Hey, real kings want real women, man. That's, that's right. not a real king want no whore. That's, that's right. A woman that's going to hop from man to man to man. Don't no real king want that, man. Go ahead and read. And they declared their sin is Sodom. They do what? And they declared their sin is Sodom. We don't all know about Sodom and Gomorrah. We don't know. They hide it not. They what? They, they hide, hide it not. not. That's why they're so comfortable with doing it like that, man. And you black suspension and Americans be following alongside of it, man. Hey, we are God's chosen people. Let me get the book of Deuteronomy 7 and 6. You can go ahead and drop that. Go ahead and read up. Woe unto their souls. What the God say? Woe, Woe unto their, their souls. Soul. Hey, God said he kills the body and the soul. Right. Fear not those that kill the body, but fear him that can kill the body and the soul. Uh -huh. But see, that's the thing. When God killed you, he tortured you first. That's right. right. It's a torment first. Go ahead and read up. For they have rewarded evil unto themselves. Say ye to the righteous that it shall be well with him, for they shall eat the fruit of their doings. Woe unto the wicked, it shall be ill with him, for the reward of his hands shall be given him. 
order. We watered their hands to be given us. Let me get the book of Isaiah chapter 5, verse 20, Hebrew. Wait a minute, what you got? This is the book of now let's see what God say about you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. Let's see how our Heavenly Father who created heaven and earth feels about you. Let's see what he feels about you. Go ahead and read, huh? It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6. Bring it out. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. We are a set-apart people. Holy means separate. A set-apart people. We're separate from the other races. Go ahead and read. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people. God told you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans to be a chosen people. Go ahead and read. Unto himself. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. God said he chose us above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Where do people get this equality from, man? If it was all equal, we wouldn't have the Black Lives Matter movement going. That's right. We got that because they hate us. Because we're God's chosen people. Right. We're only in this situation because we sinned against our God. Let me get right. that in the book of Ezekiel chapter 39 verse what I want. 39, 23. 39 verse 23, y'all. Ezekiel 39, 23, right? The other nations ain't more smarter than us. They're the most disgusting thing on this earth. Right. God made them to be sinful, a sinful creature. Right. Because God is about balance. Go ahead and read. It's the book of Ezekiel, chapter 29, verse 23. 39, 39 verse 23. Yeah. It's the book of Ezekiel, chapter 39, verse 23. And the heathen shall know. And the heathen, the other nations outside of Israel, the heathen shall know that the house of Israel went into captivity. That the house of Israel went into slavery for their iniquity, for their sins. We went into slavery for our sins because we transgressed against the Most High God. He gave us through Moses' law, statutes, and commandments, and we revoke on that covenant. We didn't want to keep God's law, statutes, and commandments. We wanted to do all this wickedness that the other nations are still doing today. And then God put the other nations over us for a punishment. A punishment is temporary. A punishment ain't forever. That's why the Lord is coming back to take us up out of this thing and give us our inheritance that he promised us, man. Read that again from the top, huh? And the heathen shall know that the house of Israel went into captivity for their iniquity. Because they trespassed against me. Because we did what? Because, because they, they trespassed, trespassed against, against me. Because we did what? Because, because they, they trespassed, trespassed against, against me. Therefore, hid I my face. So God me. turned this face up because we broke his law, statutes, and commandments. That's why we're in a low state, a low condition, because we're cursed. God put curses. He, was, he gave us an opportunity, an option. He said, I'm gonna give if y'all follow my law, statutes, and commandments, y'all gonna be on top of the other nations in our royal place, in our natural state. But if you're gonna transgress my laws or come against me or go against me, you're gonna be cursed. And we got cursed. That's why we're in the low state that we in. The only way to come up out of the low state on the bottom of society and not be catching the bus and not have the dirtiest or the dumbest jobs is by coming to God's law, statutes, and commandments and get the real blessings that He gives to us, man. You be obedient to your God, he's going to hear you, man. And let me get the book of, uh, what I want, Romans 7, verse 1. Let me get the book of Romans 7, verse 1. Go ahead and read what you got, huh? The book of Isaiah, chapter 5, and verse 20. Bring it on. Well, unto them that call evil good. And God said destruction to them that call evil good. Read on, up. Huh? And good evil. And what? And, and good, good evil. evil. If this is the American set up to cause people to follow this, the, the evil and turn from good. It's vice versa. So while they could constantly deceiving our people by saying that they believe on God and in God they trust, man. It's the opposite. Go ahead and read what you got, huh? This is the book of Romans, chapter 7, verse 1. Read up. Know ye not, brethren, for I speak to them that know the law. And God said he only speaks to the obedient children that know his law. The only how you can know God's law is by keeping God's law. That's right. Right? Matter of fact, go ahead and drop that and give me uh, the book of Romans, chapter 2, 2 13. No, read that one more time from the top. Know ye not, brethren, for I speak to them that know the law. So God speak to the children that is keeping his laws. If you're not keeping God's laws, every time you pray to him, God don't hear you. We out here to tell you straight. Stay right there. Go ahead and read what you got. The book of Romans, chapter 2 and verse 13. For not the hearers of the law are just before the Most High, 
But the doers of the law shall be justified. Not the hearers. You can't just hear the law, but you got to do the law. That's and right. when you do the law, you shall be justified. Read that one more time, huh? The book of Romans, chapter 2, and verse 13. For not the hearers of the law are just before the Most High, but the doers of the law shall be justified. Go ahead and read what you got up. This is the book of Romans, chapter 7, verse 1. Know ye not, brethren, for I speak to them that know the law, how that the law has dominion over a man as long as he liveth. And the law got dominion over us as long as we live. Let me get the book of what I want. Proverbs chapter 6, verse 2, Walk. Proverbs 6 and 2. Let me get the book of Psalms chapter 119. What do I want? The law, verse 44. 119, verse 44. Go ahead and read. The book of Proverbs chapter 6 and verse 2. Yeah. Thou art snared with the words of thy mouth. Thou art taken with the words of thy mouth. Do this now, my son, and deliver thyself. When thou art come into the land of thy friend, go humble thyself and make sure thy friend. We got to humble ourselves before the Lord, man. We got to humble ourselves. Give me, jump, jump down to uh, 7 verse 2. So lock, y'all. The book of Proverbs chapter 7 and verse 2. Yeah. Keep my commandments. What did God say? Keep, Keep my, my commandments, commandments and live. And Keep my commandments and live. This ain't living if we on the low state. Hey, this ain't living if we struggling with our rent, man. If we barely making ends meet, this is not living. What did God say from the top? The book of Proverbs chapter 7 and verse 2. Keep my commandments and live and my law as the apple of thine eye. Keep my commandments and live and my law as the apple of his eye. Because he gave us the law, statutes, and commandments, so we got to keep his laws. So go get away from me. Run. Run. Away from these pastors that say that the laws is done away with. They say all you got to do is keep the Ten Commandments. That's not good enough in the God's eyes, man. We're going to be destroyed. Hey, give me that in the book of Matthew chapter 24, verse 4. I'll bring what you got. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 119, verse 142. 144. The righteousness of their testimonies is everlasting. Give me, give me understanding and I shall live. Give me understanding and I shall live. That's 119, verse 44. Psalms 119, verse 44. What you got up? The book of Matthew, chapter 24, and verse 4. And Yahweh shall answer and say unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. Take heed that no man deceive you, children of Israel. It's a lot of deception on this earth. And we smothered in deception, man, because there's only one truth, and it's over... 20 different denominations of religion. It's one truth, but over 20 different religions, man. Read that again, huh? The book of Matthew, chapter 24, and verse 4. And Yahweh shall answer and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Hamashiach. Many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ. They're going to say, I'm the Messiah. This man came saying, I am Christ. And he's all over the world, all in your grandma's house, all in your mom's house, all up in Sunday school, all up in these church buildings, man. And we worship this thing. It's an idol, man. We're not worshiping the Most High God in the sun, man. Uh -huh. When he got his true depiction in the Bible that a lot of these churches got the same Bibles like your king, but they do not read it, man. Give me the book of Revelation 114. We got to get it. Go ahead and read up. Huh? This is the book of Psalm, chapter 119, verse 44. Bring it out. So shall I keep the law continually, forever and ever. And what did God say? So, so shall I keep the law continually, forever and ever. And God said keep his laws continuously, forever and ever. So how does the law stop? Hey, give me the book of Matthew, chapter 5, 15, 17. 5, 17, up. Huh? Matthew 5, 17. Go ahead and read what you got. The book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 14. Yeah. His head and his hairs were white like wool. And this is the true depiction of Christ, the Messiah, Yahweh Shai, who you know as Christ. Go ahead and read from the top, huh? The book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So the true Messiah heads on his hairs were white uh, like wool, white and woolly. This man got stringy hair. But a lot of our people is following this, man. A lot of our people is following this when they ain't doing nothing but killing us down in the streets. It ain't equality out here. We ain't got the best of the best jobs.
we ain't got neighbor, our neighborhoods is the slums and the ghettos. A lot of us, some of us make it out of the slums and the ghettos, but only get so far. They got gated communities where our con is not welcome. We won't qualify for a house, even if we got the money to buy that house, man. Go ahead and read, huh? His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. And his eyes were as a flame of fire because he drank wine in moderation. When you drink, you already get that in Genesis 29, 12. When you drink wine, beer, liquor, the whites of your eyes get red. Right? Is that correct, Kings? Yeah. Uh, when you drink beer, whiskey, wine, or liquor in general, the white parts of your eyes get red. That's right. right. Let's see why. Let's see what the Messiah said about this thing. The book of Genesis chapter 49 and verse 12. His eyes shall be red with wine. What the Bible say? His, his eyes, eyes shall be red, red with wine. wine. That's why his eyes was as a flame of fire, because it was red with wine, right? It was scary looking. He was, he was dark, he was big, and he had red eyes, man, right? Because we was feared back in the day, man. We ain't feared now. We taken as a joke. We feared amongst our own. We quick to kill our own. We quick to bring black on black crime towards our own. Right. But won't take it to the doorstep of the heathen who really deserve it, man. That's why God got them fighting against each other. That's why he the one staring up all these mass shootings, man. That's it's right. them that's getting hit, man. And God is switching this thing around right before your eyes. A prophecy is happening right before your eyes. Right. But a lot of our people is in the darkness. They can't see it. They can't see it. Since when do America get hacked? They hack their food supply, right? They hack their gas, right? Since when do the other countries, who step up and, and go against America without getting destroyed? They doing all type of things, atrocities to America, and America ain't doing nothing about it because they scared of prophecy because it's destined to be destroyed. They knew we were in the last days, man. They know this is their end, man. So they scared of war. They don't want no parts of war. That's why America got Netanyahu over there in Israel trying to fight all and do all their dirty work. So when the fight do come, it's going to go to Israel. But God said he's going to destroy America and Israel. Right. Well, what you got, huh? The book of Revelation, chapter 1, and verse 14. Right his head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet like unto fine brass. His, the Messiah's feet unlike to fine brass. Brown is a derivative of a brown. Brass is brown. But let's see how dark. The Messiah was. We don't know. And his feet like undefined brass as if they burned in a furnace. If you burn anything in a furnace, what color does it get? If you burn anything in a furnace, it's going to get black. It's going to get dark. This Caucasian man is not dark at all. He's pink. Different shades of pink. That's why we call them rednecks down south. Because they're in the sun and the sun beams on them and turn their color red. Their natural color. Uh-huh. That's their natural color. That's right. That's why they're using all these sunscreens to go out on the beaches up here, right? When it's hot, they use sunscreen so they, they skin won't turn red, man. We call them rednecks down, down south because that's who they are. God calls them red, right? You know something? Why don't read what you got? The book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 17. Yeah. Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. And the Messiah said, think not that I have come to destroy the law or the prophets. Because a lot of y'all say, when the Messiah came, he done away and took the law away. So now you can sin. And y'all need to repent, man. That's right. Y'all need to repent. Hey, give me the book of Leviticus chapter 20, verse 13, man. That's, right. that's disgusting in the Lord's eyes, man. And y'all gonna see what that lake of fire is like that's if you right. don't repent, man. Repent and turn away from your sins, huh? Go ahead and read what you got here, Leviticus. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 20, verse 13. Yeah. If a man also lie with a mankind, and he lies with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. Read that one more time again from the top, of the If a man also lie with mankind, if a man lay down with mankind, as he do with a woman, if a man lay down with man, like he do with a woman, read it again, huh? Both of them have committed an abomination. They what? Both of them have committed an abomination. Both of them have committed abominations. Both have committed abominations, man. Go ahead and read. They shall surely be put to death. What's going to happen to them? They shall surely be put to death. If you are a lesbian, 
You about to change your life or you going to get put to death. That's right! Understand that thing. If you like men, like a man kind, you're going to be put to death. Let me get the book of Romans chapter 1 verse 25. You got something, Mark? Go ahead and read what you got. The book of Leviticus chapter 18 and verse 22. Yeah. Thou shalt not lie with mankind. What did God say? Thou shalt not lie with mankind. What did the Bible say? Thou shalt not lie with mankind. And God said you can't lie down with mankind. But the President Obama then passed that disgusting stuff. Now you see a lot of this gay nonsense going on. That's right. Our people are going to destroy whoever's in that thing. Go ahead and read what you got, huh? Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. It is abomination. What is it? It is abomination. What is it? It is abomination. Hey, let me get the book of Revelation chapter 21 verse 8, huh? Read what you got. The book of Romans chapter 1 verse 25. Bring it out. Who changed the truth of God into a lie? Hey, who changed the truth of God into a lie? Esau. Who changed the truth of God into a lie? Read Read up. And worship and serve the creature more than the creator. Now all people are serving the creature more than the most high God who created heaven and earth, man. Because the creature says it's okay to be whoever you want to be, and that's what you want to do. You want to go and be whoever you want to be. Instead of listening to the most high God like there ain't no punishment, man. Go ahead and read. It's lucky. Who changed the truth of God into a lie and worship and serve the creature more than the creator, who is blessed forever. Amen. Amen. For this cause God gave them up into vile affliction. And God gave these people up to vile affection. Vile affection. Disgusting affection. We don't know. For even the woman did change the nature. You, natural youth. Now the woman has changed the natural use. Now the woman has changed the natural use of God. Read up. Into a witch is against nature. And that's against nature. God created male and female. He didn't, he didn't make woman to be with woman. He didn't make man to be with man. But because all people worship and serve the creature more than creator, they're going to do what man says and not rather what God says, man. That's and that's going to get them destroyed. Remember I said earlier, fear him who cannot kill, don't fear those who can kill the, the, the uh, body, but fear them that can kill the body and the soul. That's right. Right. What you got, huh? The book of Revelation, chapter 21. And verse 8, but up. the fearful and unbelieving, but the fearful and unbelieving, if you're not keeping God's law, statutes, and commandments, you don't believe on God, so you're an unbeliever. Go ahead, huh? And the abominable. And the what? And the abominable. And the what? And the abominable. And the abomination, but God saying that woman on woman and man on man is an abomination. We don't know. And murderers, and whoremongers, and sorcerers, and idolaters, uh, idolaters. And all liars shall have their part in the lake of, of which burneth with fire and brimstone. And God said, y'all going to have your part. Y'all going to have your time. When you're going to burn in fire and brimstone. Fire and brimstone. Fire and brimstone. Go ahead and read up. Which is the second death. Which is the second death. Your body's going to die. That's going to be your first death. But your second death is going to be painful. Those who don't make it with the Messiah, man. Let me get the book of Revelations. Right? Chapter 20, verse 10. Bring that out. The book of Revelation, chapter 20, and verse 10. Bring it out. And, and the devil that deceived them. And the devil that deceived them. Who deceived the children of Israel? Who made you worship a Caucasian, nasty, disgusting dog? Who made you worship that in slavery? Who made you worship it? It was forced on us. Read up. And the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone, where the beast and the false prophet are. And y'all Israelites, y'all need to repent. That's Turn right. back to God and y'all gonna see what that lake of fire is feeling like, That's man. Right. This is the last days, man. Quit trying to be like the heathen who oppressed you and gave you that nastiness, man. We got to get it from the top, Hebrew. The book of Revelation, chapter 20 and verse 10. And the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire. The devil that deceived them, the Caucasian man that deceived the children of Israel, shall be cast into the lake of fire. What else, huh? Where the beast and the false prophet are slaughtered. And the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone, where the beast and the false prophet are. Where the beast and the false prophet are. Where the beast and the false prophet are. What color is Christ? 
Christ is a black man. Y'all right. picked up that line and said he was Caucasian. All y'all going into slavery in the Messiah return, that's man. Right. That's your destination. And we're going to tell you straight, man, because that's what we honor for. Let me get the book of Ezekiel, chapter 317, up. Huh? Go ahead and read. Jump up the uh, first, what I want, 15, up, huh? 2014. The book of Revelation, chapter 20, and verse 15. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life. Whosoever was not found written in the book of life. Go ahead, up. Huh? Was cast into the lake of fire. Was what? Was cast into the lake of fire. Was what? Was cast into the lake of fire. And that's what we out here to do to save our people's souls from being cast into the lake of fire that's on this way, man. Save your souls and quit acting like God don't exist, man. Understand that. We out here to save souls. We are the watchmen unto the house of Israel. That's our friends. Go ahead and read what you got up. Huh? It's the book of Ezekiel, chapter 3, verse 17. Son of man. I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. And God made us watchmen unto the house of Israel to come out here and teach you the truth. Because the pastors ain't doing it. Read up. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. Hey, our job is just to give you warning. Whether you hear it or prepare it, it's your soul. That's right. You're going to see what that lake of fire is like. Not us. We on the right side. We serve the God in spirit and truth. If you're not keeping God's laws, statutes, and commandments, you're not serving God. You're serving Satan. You can't serve two masters. We don't know. When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him no not warning, nor speaketh to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life, the same wicked man shall die in his iniquity. But his blood will I require at thy head. So we got to come out here and give all people a warning. Because if all we don't warn you, then that person that's going to die, their blood will be on our hands. That's right. We can't have that. That's right. Now when we all go, is the kingdom of heaven. That's our next stop. It's the kingdom of heaven in this real soon. Understand that, Israel. You got something up? Read what you got. The book of Malachi, chapter 2 and verse 7. Yeah. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. And they shall seek the law at his mouth. Read that one more time from the top, people. The book of Malachi, chapter 2 and verse 7. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. The pastors, the reverends, the evangelists, the pastors should keep knowledge. And they shall seek the law. The law. God's law should be coming out of their mouth. But they too busy teaching you that you're supposed to keep the Ten Commandments and God's law is done away with. That's going to get you destroyed. We know not. And they shall keep the law, and they shall seek the law in his mouth, for he is the messenger of the Lord of hosts. They're supposed to be the messengers of God, but they ain't the messengers of God. The messengers of God teach truth. The messengers of God cannot lie. That's right. We're not allowed to lie out here, man. We got to keep it a hundred. We got to keep it straight with you. We got to keep it real. Go ahead and read what you got, huh? This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 23, verse 1. Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, said the Lord. Therefore, thus said 